What's good, y'all? Back with another video. In this video, I'll be cooking up some samples, cooking up some loops for y'all. Um, I know y'all seen the last video with making the melodic trap beat. If y'all haven't, go check that out. As usual, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. And before I jump into this, sellfire.com slash canaryjewels. Go grab some kits, midi kits, drum kits, all that. Use the code 30 off, get 30% off. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it. Let's get it. So I got contact file pulled up, which is what I usually start with with samples anyways, even if I'm like incorporating some live shit or like analog shit or like, you know what I mean? But I have a harvest core pulled up, so. Yeah, this is our sound. Now, I guess I'm going for more of like a, more like dark trap, like kind of like Mozart trap type of style, you know what I mean? That type of style of, of chords, of keys, kind of like that dark, you know, what's the price type of key. So basically, I'm gonna just start out with playing on the MIDI keyboard and I'm gonna find the melody just by like, you know, just what I have in my head, I'm gonna just keep playing. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down once I get the melody. So I'll check in back with y'all once, you know, that's done. All right, so I think I found the basis of the melody, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down and quantize it. All right, so now that I got it quantized, I'm gonna go ahead and open the mixer channel. And as you can see, I have the parametric EQ, just shaving off some of the low end. And I got isotope vinyl open, and this is just on the first sound, so it's a lot more I'm doing. I'm gonna do with the master and all that, but. So I'm gonna turn up the, matter of fact, instead of turning up the warp depth, I'm gonna go ahead and add some RC color, RC retro color. Uh, let me see, turn the noise off. All right, so now I'm gonna add some bass to it from Omnisphere. So now I'm gonna add like some more, another wind instrument, like probably like a flute, like a piccolo flute. I'm gonna put the flute on a mixer channel now to kind of just get it sounding how I want it to sound.
kind of structure it so I could add a new part. Probably gonna add a little bit of more keys, just like some light, light filling keys for that second part. throw those keys on the mixer channel, take the low ends out, add some ball holler reverb, turn the decay down. So that's basically it for the sample tutorial. I know I didn't fully master it. I showed the fully mastering in a separate tutorial. Um, I did throw Abbey Road vinyl on it just to, you know, see how it sounded. So, you know, I'm gonna play with that a little bit more. But y'all got the basis of the composition, you know what I mean? Or the melody, all that. It's played by the MIDI keyboard. I didn't like click it in, so. But sometimes I will like uh, just add extra fills, add extra stuff in the keys just through the piano roll, so that is a good technique too. Also, I might add some ambient sounds like textures, just like environmental sounds or something, just to add more like liveliness to it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I got a lot more tutorials on the way. I appreciate y'all watching. As usual, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all want to see next. And with that being said, Selfie.com slash Canary Jewels for kids, and I'm out.